for Brooklyn was scrapping It's part of life right. So we happen to be the type of journalists to start a fight what? I was raised in Gleason's I was in the precinct Damn. But I beat the case with my sweet peak defense ah. You drinking if you think you beating us If I have to I'ma put on margarito gloves Don't do it. I'm in the bar place like I own it What you expected? The way I seized the moment They thought I was epileptic Damn. The fight game can't survive without me I throw shots that make fighters spit out their mouthpiece Never days off nah. Only days on Shit. I represent the hood like I'm Trayvon These moments in boxing are so proper Like when Floyd told Oscar he beat his whole roster It's our action that speaks the loudest Though we the sweet scientists they ain't nothing. nothing sweet about us Fight fans, what's going on? It's your boy Ock What's up? This is Barack, the boxing bully We are the sweet scientists on This Is 50.com And we're mic'd up I don't want to hear no complaining about the sound What you can't hear what up? I'm talking loud into the mic But we have a special guest today Got a big, big fight coming up November 11th against Daniel the Miracle Man Jacobs, Luis Cuba Arias. Did I pronounce that correctly? You got that right, man. Got He's that Cuban right. and Nicaraguan. Yeah, born in America. And uh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> this is his big break. Big, big middleweight showdown November 11th. I mean, uh, I guess this is what fighters uh, fight their whole lives for, the opportunity to fight on a big network like HBO. Yeah. And, you know, a, a win on, on November 11th will put you in a... A whole different level in the sport of boxing, man. How, how do you feel? When did you get the call? Take me back to the to that moment when you got a call like, yo, we got the opportunity to fight Danny Jacobs. Well, uh, um, I was told I was coming back on HBO after my last performance, June 17th. You know, so uh, after two, three months, I started calling up. I was like, okay, yo, what am I doing? Am I getting my own date? What's going on? Am I coming back? So you're doing your own calling. You ain't got nobody calling yeah. for you? No, I mean, I, I got somebody calling, but, you uh, know, sometimes you got to take matters of your own hands. hands. No so, doubt. You know, I got, they're calling me. You know, I got their numbers, so I can call them too. Okay. I mean, but when it comes down to little details, y'all, y'all just, you know, deal, deal with that. But right. I could call you and ask questions. So I just call, yo, what's going on? Oh, you know, waiting on HBO, waiting on HBO. I said, okay, you know, so I kind of knew something was going on. Was already in the gym, started just training because I know something was about to creep up. And sure enough, not this last Friday, the one before that, I get a phone call at 10 in the morning. I'm like, yo, guess who they want you to fight? I said, did, did we get Lemieux? Because I was asking for Lemieux. Right okay. Now. Right. Said, did we get Lemieux? It's a good like, fight. No, no, they, we didn't get Lemieux. They want you to Got fight. Got some better. They, they want to fight. Yeah, they want you to fight Jacobs. I said, Jacobs? I said, he's over there. I was like, no, you know, he's signing a deal. They're bringing him to the, to the network. They think you're the f- perfect fight for him. He's like, but to let you know, you're coming in on the B side. So I said, okay. He's like, yo, they want to answer by the end of the day. So I said, all right, you know, 10 a.m., I go to the gym. I come after I'm done training, 12 15, 12 30. I call him back. I said, yo, work out the little details, make it better for me, give me the Jacobs. Why'd you have to think about it? I didn't have to think about it. Oh, okay. They were just giving me the opportunity. <laughs> you, just get, say, you just went to the gym, so I'll be right back. No, they, 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 you know what I mean? They say, yo, uh, you know, you don't need an answer right now. They're not going to, you know. But yeah, they, some they, promoters will do that. They'll push you to the back. Yeah. Hey, you waiting all right, day. And they'll be right. like, oh, here's the fight. You need two hours. But did yeah. that first call, that first call, that initial call, did they have a number for you, too? We're going we gonna to get X amount of dollars for this fight. There's a number. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's, there's a number. number. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had to think about that number for a little bit. I need another chain. My chain. I'm not, I can't complain about the money. Right. I'm not going to complain about the money because it was an opportunity. And right. If all I said was, yo, you all, you're going to offer me, you know, little. Okay, right. so, yo, just make it a little bit better. But right. I want the fight. Boom. Okay. They came a little exactly bit better. They, they came better. And then I was like, you know what? The opportunity, there's no price on this opportunity. Yes. So, there you go. give me the fight. You know what I mean? And go. then, sure enough, the fight got put together. The next day, you know, Jacobs, you know, they were at HBO in California announcing this whole deal, and then they got out that he was going to fight me. Right. I mean, but nothing was signed yet, then all they ironed everything out, and then we finally signed. And then we're going to announce the fight later today. So you going to the press conference later today? What, what, what you got planned for that? You... Well, I mean, I, the world needs to know who I am. You know what I mean? Like, I, I need to talk. You know, Daniel Jacobs... Well, now we see you can talk. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Jacobs is hyped up, you know what I mean? But he, he's not like a star. He doesn't sell fights. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys, has he sold out a, a, an arena before? I, I, don't, I don't buy tickets. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Don't pay the I don't yeah, buy yeah, tickets. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Danny, my boy, though. You know, I mean? you know what I'm saying? But I don't buy tickets. Yeah, now, you're you know, right. He's not a huge name. He's not a household yeah, name yet. So, you know what I'm saying? You're right. He's not a pay-per-view star yet, but it's tough to get to that level. I mean, it's not easy, man. And you're from, what's the city that you're from? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. So you were, I, I wouldn't Wisconsin. think. Wisconsin. Wisconsin? You know what I'm saying? Wisconsin. <laughs> no, I'm saying like. That's how, how, how does, say it. How does a Cuban and a Nicaraguense end well, up in, in Where the hell they come from? <laughs> how did, you, how did your parents from? end up there? So my dad left from Cuba in the 80s. 
know, y'all seen Scarface, right? Absolutely. I mean, and, you know, yeah. they yeah. in the boats. He came yeah. just like that. Wow. Got adopted by a family in, in Wisconsin, so he wow. showed up to Wisconsin. Then my mom and them, there was a civil war going on in Nicaragua in the early 80s. So she had to pack up and go. Got my sister and she Damn. came over to America. And one of my family members had came to Wisconsin first and my mom just followed. Then boom. They, they met up there. And met. you were born in Wisconsin. Bada boom. And boom. So you try to put Wisconsin no on the map though, because yeah, I mean any any I mean, I don't think the city has any athletes, right? That's that. Uh, I don't even know where it's at, actually. <laughs> yeah, you know I, what I'm saying? I've never got the pack. I don't know if I've even flew got, over yeah. Wisconsin. No, they still got. That's still a state. I thought they. I know. I thought. My bad. Bro, bro, show some, bad. Show my bad. Some Yo, damn Wisconsin, respect, man. Wisconsin, Wisconsin <laughs> deep. Man. Yeah, yeah. Y'all rolling. History in Wisconsin. We got I don't know. Packers, I don't know, bro. Yeah, you gotta be Danny Jacobs and you can talk. You can talk Wisconsin. You can't talk Wisconsin in Brooklyn. No, you don't say you gotta be Danny Jacobs. So, um, the fight is being held in the Nassau Coliseum. Nassau Coliseum. That's, New York. that's a good look. That's a um, good look. This is this is a big city. What? Wait a minute. You know Brooklyn gonna come out. Yeah, yeah that's Brooklyn fine. come out. Well, that's that's yeah, fine with you. You don't find being B side. You don't you don't find being you find being B side coming out and they booing you. Yeah, what is it about fine. Danny that you feel like you and your team feel like you can capitalize against? You can beat him. What 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 are some of the flaws? The chin. The chin. <laughs> I mean, he showed a resilient chin against Triple G. Though he got he dropped, was, he was a flash knockdown. Yeah. Uh. I mean, no, he got hurt and he was running. I mean, he fought defensive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you could tell. Like, if you really know fighting, you know, you could tell Danny was in there just trying to make it to the 12th, it felt like. And as the fight went on, he got more confident. So you don't think he won yeah. rounds in that fight? He definitely won rounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a 12-round fight. You right. can't jump in the water and not get wet. Right. Like, you can right. win some rounds. No doubt. Right. I, I, no doubt. I hope you would win a round out of 12. Right. Right. He definitely did win some rounds. He did his thing, you know what I mean? But it just looked like he was just trying to survive. You know what I mean? Like, Sergio Moore got nine knockdowns, knockouts, and he put him down. I've yeah. been seeing Jacobs getting put down for a while. Right. And so the chin has been checked. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so you're not worried about his boxing ability or his power? I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be. You right. Know I mean? I've been fighting since I was eight years old. So you're going in there to fight. Yeah, I'm going in there to fight. I had 170 amateur fights. I'm on 19, 20 fights in as a pro. I didn't see all the styles. I didn't right. feel all. Right. I, I mean, I didn't fought like hundreds of middleweights. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. this man puts his pants on one leg at a time, just like me. Right. Yeah. I'm not worried about the power. You know what I mean? So like, I've been fighting at a bigger weight class my first 15 fights. Yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah. know this. I mean, right. they, they got me so much in the background. They was fighting me super middleweight. My first I know. I see. Fight. I see. You was 160. Damn, sometimes I put my pants on like this. That means I ain't tough. Yeah, <laughs> basically that's kind of yeah, women do that. I'm a lazy <laughs> motherfucker though. When I'm on the sofa, I might do this shit. Now, nah, but listen, I mean, the opportunity is huge. Obviously, in the middleweight division, outside of Danny Jacobs, let's say you get past this guy, right? Shock the world. You stop him. You knock him out. What's next in the middleweight division? Well, I mean, I got to the goal. Um, even when I beat Jacobs, you know I mean, like, that's not a world title fight. Right, so yeah. it's just going right. to be, I got It's a, a good, title eliminator. That's what I was told. That's right. why the main right. reason I took the fight. Right. right. So after this, you know, I, I got to get a crack at that world title. That's right. 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 The, triple the, the, G or. Yeah, Triple G or yeah, yeah. whoever wins that Canelo's fight. Canelo's a big I money need. fight. I, I got to ask you, I mean, most people don't agree with me, me and Barack. The Triple G Canelo fight, I thought Canelo won. What's your opinion on it? Um, I thought Triple G won. Right. Just because after like Triple G came to the fight as a world champion with three of the belts, you know what I mean? Like you can't just give those away, you know, give them to the to the to the guy fighting for it because he was a close. Well, fighter. Canelo is a world a lineal middleweight champion as well. He came in there with. Nah, he dropped it. He dropped lineal it. as well. He dropped it. He that's why he that's beat the guy who beat the guy who beat the guy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you beat Cotto, but. Damn, was Cotto really the champ? No, and but Cotto, he, he was the champ. No, but, he Cotto just, beat but he let go of it. That was the double. He had a WBC had too. Yeah. He dropped that. Yeah. Not the fight. Yeah, but it's Triple excuses. G. When you and sign Triple a contract, no excuses in my opinion in boxing. You can't, you know what I mean? He yeah. beat No him. excuses, but facts is facts. Cotto's a little, facts? Cotto's a little guy. Cotto's a little guy. In any case, look. Uh, I thought it was a good fight. It was a close fight. It was a great fight. I'm not mad at the draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it makes great business sense. Everyone's mad at the one scorecard. If That's that it. Was, was fifteen been, one thirteen. So what? No still a draw. Right. That's right. But it's still it was the right. same outcome it's though. That's right. That's one eighteen. That's what I'm saying. That's a dominating. You know, I mean, no one. Yeah, yeah. That was that stupid. That was yeah. stupid. Had that been a closer scorecard, no one would be crying. You've been in a room in Florida, right? You sparred with yeah, Floyd I before. Yeah, sparred with Floyd as an amateur. So you okay. spent time in Vegas. Yeah. Florida not not only has he spent time with Vegas, you was part of that camp. Yeah, right? yeah I was. Were I you was, at one time signed to Mayweather Promotions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we gotta know. I got my ideas of what happened. But we got well, we I put want, you on no, the spot. That's what know. we do. What, what happened? Why did you leave? Why, why did you leave that camp? Yeah. 
Shit, he let me go, really. I know, but there was a reason. I was 10 and 0 at the time, you know what I mean? I just got a phone call like, yo, you're out. I was like, what? It ain't because you wasn't good. Yeah. It's, well, it had to be something. I think exactly. you was whipping somebody's well, ass in camp or something. Nah. I mean, who? who? Done that, though. Who gave you the call? Leonard Lettleby? No. <laughs> he had Jay Leon call me, oh, which okay. I thought was a little sucker move. Yeah, so he's, he's like, another he's fighter. Call. He had another huh. fighter call me. And right, right. Go. I mean, and, and no reason. They ain't giving you no reason. See, when it happened, I want to hear from you, though. When it happened, I had my suspicions. Yeah, why? I mean, I like, All right, what? just give us your suspicions. Yeah, you, my why my suspicions was around that time when Freud was doing what was it? Our access, yeah. and then he had my man Rockman's kids fighting. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and, and they and they thought it was a little bit like child labor lawish. You know, <laughs> they thought it was like you know what happened was. Floyd fights with, with no breaks sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Mad minutes. You mean sparring? Sparring, you know what I'm saying? So a when a young kid was in there sparring, it was one of Rachman's sons, and they started coming down on Floyd, but Floyd was saying, nah, you just don't see it on camera, but they have breaks. That might not have been true, it might have been true. Somebody spoke up, and I think they, that's prob no, probably they, why. They you wasn't. Have breaks. You wasn't. I, I don't. I thought so you maybe because but, but, but I thought maybe because you spoke up, kinda, in their on their behalf. Yeah, he didn't like. Well, I was working at you know the Rockman's corner, corner you know right? I mean? And I told them like, yo, don't don't do this, man. They just hyping you up. What they yeah. like to do? Dog like house. Drama. They right. like you know right, right. Little, little noise and all that. I was like, yo, they just doing it. I was like, yo, don't go in there. You know I mean like mm -hmm. just don't. But no, he wanted to do. It. He wanted to prove a point, so he went in there. And like as it was good, you know, the rounds were going on. Like you know, I was like after two or three rounds, I was like, bro, you're tired right now. Like, right. You need to stop. That's a grown man. Don't get hurt. Man. You fight right. right. You fight a grown you know? man. So I started, you know, trying to take a shit off. Right. You know, and um, no, no. Right. You know? Dog. And, so they had a problem and with then that. I told him I was like, yo, you know, no, but you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if that was the exact reason, but that was a part of it. You know, he. It was just downhill for a year, and then I guess that one was just like. Yeah, have sure. you ran into time. him or, or the team since nah, then? No, nah, no, but I ran into everyone around there. You know, every, a lot of people hit me up after that situation. And was That's like, cool. Yo, you know, you ain't, cool. you ain't do nothing wrong. Like, we don't know why he said that. Right. I asked him, get, I, get, I got a phone call from somebody close to him. They're like, yo, he not really going to let you go. He's just mad. Well, how'd you but feel? I, was that heartbreaking at the time? I at was the mad time? as hell. It was yeah, the worst one was, yo, my baby was just born. You know That's I mean? true. Like my I, my daughter was like I said when I got the phone call, my daughter was like two weeks old. Like we was, I was just sleeping on me when right. I got the phone call. And they was just building you up. Yeah, like yo, you know, this is my money. You know, I fight. You know, like I don't know nothing else but fighting. I've been fighting since I was eight years old. You know I mean, I didn't sleep. I didn't go to the streets. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want nothing to do with the streets. Mm -hmm. I don't got nothing to do with nothing else. Like mm -hmm. even in school, I was thinking about fighting. So all I know is fighting. You know what I mean? Wow. So when he said I'm not fighting no more, he cut me off. So my baby was brand, you know, brand spanking new. So I was like, yo, that was disrespectful. And then when I confronted it about him, confronted him about it, he didn't really say nothing. And then someone recorded it and it got out. And then that shit, it was oh, embarrassing. Yeah. I can't go back, you know, talking all that shit and go back. And then I just felt like, you know what, this is obviously a sign from God that I got to move on. Move on, right. So I moved on. Right. So you feel like you're in a good space right now? Like, obviously, you got a great opportunity in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm headlining on HBO Championship Boxing after just two TV fights. You with Rock Nation? Yeah, I'm with Rock Nation. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They're, they're presenting me the opportunities. You know, uh, I'm still undefeated. I, I right. can't tell you how many guys over there are still undefeated. Right. I still got my oh. Uh-oh. Right. You know, right. so... Right. I mean, I'm, I'm just doing my thing, man. Boxing is an individual sport. When that bell rings, it's just me and whoever's on the other side. I mean, there's no team effort. It ain't no buddy-buddy shit. Like, we, everyone's cool and all, but yeah. man, everyone's trying to get their own. Sometimes that's why you can't get mad at change, man, because sometimes God might want you to flourish somewhere else yeah. in a different camp. Like you, that, that's what it was. Are you going to knock Daniel Jacobs out? Since his chin is so suspect, right? I, I have to. According <laughs> I mean, to you. I have to. I have to knock him out. Ain't gonna get no wins in Nassau Coliseum. Decision. I ain't gonna get a decision versus a New York fighter in New right. York. Right. I mean, so I know when I'm coming in there, so either I gotta completely dominate the fight, or I really gotta stop him. You know I mean, so I'm gonna be ready for whatever. Okay. But I'm gonna knock him out. There you have it, folks. Louis Cuba Arias, November 11th, Nassau Coliseum on HBO Championship Boxing. Yeah. Might be boxing after dark. Might boxing after dark. Because right. he don't have the belt no more. Uh-oh, championship. Oh, it's, it's big boy, HBO. It's big boy, uh, baby. Big, big boy. boy. Championship boxing. Don't, don't, don't miss die. it, man. It's going to be a great fight. Sweet scientist. This is 50.com. We out of here.